Paul, uh, as far as weeks goes, that must be right up there since you, since you took over here, Merthyr. Yeah, uh, brilliant week. Obviously, two games there that, um, you know, to come out with six points. Very different types of games. Um, obviously, on Tuesday, we've had to work really, really hard and stay in the game. And, and today, uh, we were, I thought we were excellent. We created so many good opportunities. But the ball wouldn't go in the net. Opportunities that we usually take. Um, we weren't going in today, um, but we kept going, we kept playing, we kept going and Fraser showed a fantastic bit of composure at the end to, to win us the game. And uh, obviously you touched upon it there a little bit, it was a game of plenty of chances for us but it just didn't seem to fall the right way or the keeper for Bracknell made some really strong saves but I think it was the 89th minute that Fraser popped up to get that, to get that winner. Yeah, I think I just said to the players I'd made peace with drawing because we played so well, and you just think it's just not going to go in today. Like, you know, absolute sitters by our standards, really, that, that weren't going in even just before they scored. You know, we were queuing up at the far post to, to slot one in, and we didn't. We switched off, we shouldn't concede the goal, but we've talked that through, and the boys will try and not to let that happen again. And, and the balls wouldn't go in the second half. We started really brightly from the two, you know, three minutes in. I think we'd created a chance, and it continued like that throughout the second half, but we didn't get frustrated. And, and in the end, you know, it was a great moment again when, when Fraser scores. So, yeah, like you, like you said in the first question, it's a huge six points, really, because wins are far more important than, than draws if you're, if you're challenging near the very top of the league. And uh, I think for November now, that takes us to 13 points, if I'm not wrong, from our from our five games. Uh, going into the start of the month, you, I'm guessing, going out there now, you, you're very happy with that point, yeah, Charlie. absolutely, Dali. We looked at it, we obviously knew it was going to be a difficult month, playing lots of teams in the top half and in around chasing playoff positions. So to come out with 13 points and, and extend that unbeaten run is a, is a fantastic achievement by all the players. I'm so proud of the effort. Like Over that month now, you'll see that lots of players have had their opportunities and all played parts in the wins and that helps bring that togetherness. Fraser's had his, his time on the bench the last few weeks. He, he got the start today and, he, and he's won the game for us and that's the type of strength and depth that we need throughout the season. Uh, so yeah, to get 13 points, obviously the one game was off, but um, to come up with 13 points from, from five games is a great return and, and that's you know the level that we've set ourselves now. And uh, obviously, you, Fraser will uh, will get applauded. But uh, I thought our attacking force today they were they were outstanding, despite us not getting sort of the luck with some of the finishers. Yeah, they were, but they they won't mind me saying that you know they they, they should have put that game to bed, and and we should have been comfortable here. And, and and in saying that in itself, you know the performance against the team who's unbeaten at home was a lot hasn't lost since the manager's been in place. And, you know, I think that shows where we are at at the moment. Um, we're, we're we're playing very well and um, you know I think the whole team again played really well today and that's the point I was trying to make that if we took a point I would have had, we would have had to accept it but we'd be very pleased with the performance and we'd still know we were on the right track so to get the winner as well is a big bonus. And uh, looking ahead now we return home to Penn Aaron Park next week after a few weeks away including the, the postponement. Uh, Bays and Stoke at home uh, what's, what's the thoughts ahead of that one? Yeah, look, they started the season really, really well. I think they've had a tough result today, and obviously it, it makes them a dangerous, dangerous opponent, really, because they, they've not been in great form lately. Don't dress it up. But I think they're a good player with a, with a very good. I think they're a good team with very good players and a good manager, and um, and they're going to come and and obviously that game against the top of the league when no one expects them maybe to get anything is the one where they'll be looking to turn around their form at the moment. So I think they're a good team. They've had a tough run, and it'll be a tough test. So hopefully the supporters who've travelled in their number today can uh, turn up and support us next Saturday and, and enjoy the product that the players are putting on the pitch. Um, and get behind the boys and see if we can just extend our run and, and start December exactly the same way we've finished November. That's great. Thanks, Bob. Cheers, Jack.